Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of a retro react to Miss Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Foodie Beauty, Chantal Marie, Chantalis, Big Beautiful Me, whoever, whatever, y'all know at this point, she's, <laughs> she's had so many names. But yeah, we're gonna do a retro react to her because lately, listen, y'all know her live streams and just her life in general has reached a point of no return for me where I don't know if she doesn't start doing some vlogs that don't start including, I don't know, stuff that isn't beyond my limits <laughs> in terms of what I wanna watch. Like literally the other night I just like clicked on a live stream and I found her eating some kind of chocolate pastry item and had the chocolate all over her face. It was just a lot. It was just a lot. It's all a lot to me. But lately she's been talking a lot about how she is going to be doing Vlogtober, which I think the concept is a lot like Vlogmas where she plans to post every single day in the month of October, which like she already does live streams almost every single day. So I don't know. I, I, I think she says she's going to have pre-recorded content. I don't feel confident about it, but I thought in order for us to get prepared for that experience, why don't we go and react to her first day of Vlogtober last year and, and get kind of ready and see, do we think that she's going to actually do this this year and be successful? And where has she been in the past year? Like, what has changed? Because let's be honest, a lot has changed. But before we get to the reaction, I did just want to share today's sponsor, which is Scentbird. Thank you so much, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. If you didn't know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can get new fragrances once a month by just paying for a subscription. I kind of like that as a concept because I'm somebody who doesn't wear a lot of fragrance and also Noel is a little bit sensitive to different types of colognes and fragrances. Like some, some work with Noel and some don't and so <laughs> I wanna make sure I'm respecting my partner. So getting to try something out at a smaller size really helps me. So they sent me three different scents and they come in these little these little vials like this it's a little container very easy to just like slip into a bag they have both men and women and unisex non-binary scents they send these little things and it just twists up and you can spray it like this Ooh, smells real good and if, if you 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 don't really see what the brand is and everything here right like you don't you don't but magic hello hi um, and this one is Skylar and the scent Salt Air. They also send these little cards that tell you what the the notes of the scent are. So this one has driftwood, sea salt, and seaweed. It honestly does give me like the vibes of something I would wear. I don't know, it's just like not super feminine, not super masculine, which I enjoy about this particular scent. They also sent me this one from Gendarme. And this one has notes of citrus bergamot jasmine, lilac, and leather. The third one they sent me is Scents of Wood, Cypress, and Oak. And it also just smells so good. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna have to wait and see if Noel reacts to any of these, but again, that's why it's so great to have something that, like, I'm not committing to like a $60 bottle of cologne. Instead, I pay a monthly subscription fee and I get to try out a whole bunch of different things to see if I might wanna buy a larger version of the scent. Now if you use my coupon code down below, link in the description, you will get 30% off of your first month at Scentbird. It's just $11 for your first month. So make sure to check that out. After that, it's $16 a month and you get to test drive all the scents uh, for different seasons, for different occasions that your little heart desires. So thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video today and let's get to, let's get to. Okay, so the very first Vlogtober video she did last year on October 1st, 2020 was a Pulp Fiction themed mukbang, <laughs> if you can believe it. Now, this was back when I was not, I think the first video I came back to reacting to her was when she did a little 
moment situation with Pete's where they made a horror movie. I don't think I had done a lot of reactions to her in the, the months leading up to Vlogtober last year, which is also why I think this might be fun, because I remember she was doing all these theme mukbangs, and I was just thinking, like, wow, this is the most effort Sis has put into something in a long time, in a long, long time. So I'm just curious to, like, compare that to what she's doing today, which is just a lot of live streaming while she's zooted. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's really get to. Ooh, come on, leaves in the intro. Yes! Oh my god, she even updated her little intro to say Vlogtober 2020 and put all of these fall leaves. Yes! Hello, booty booties. <laughs> I'll have the... Oh, she better not, she better not give me copyright and put this, put this scene from Pulp Fiction in here. Derwood Kirby Burger. I swear, I swear, Miss Chantal Marie, if you do this to me right now. Bloody. I feel like if I just keep pausing, <laughs> if I keep pausing, maybe we can avoid it. And $5 a shake. I'm sure that the reason for including this is so that people will know. People like me who watched Pulp Fiction once a long time ago but don't remember shit about it, she probably did that for us so we would know what the reference is. You want that shake, Martin Lewis or Amos and Martin and Lewis. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Please come take my hand. Oh, hello. Hey! You must be who my husband, Marcellus Wallace, asked to take me out for a good time. Well. Uh-huh. I don't know if that was me, but okay. I'm, I'm loving the cosplay. I'm loving the cosplay. I was thinking we could head Is that a real cigarette or a fake cigarette? I mean, we know that she smokes, but it, it looks fake. It looks fake. It does not look real. Jack Rabbit Slims. For a burger and a shake, what do you think? I I would rather Let's not. Let's get to. I think I would rather not. If I, if I had a choice, I would go with no. But yeah, here we are. I'm reacting to this video, anyways. So I'm just gonna go powder my nose and. Okay, with with current context, the powdering of the nose. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Is this copyright music? I just can't trust her with anything these days. I listen, if they if they could just always put in this music so I could just dance and live my life. I love their little background music for me to dance to. And somebody, the last time I danced in a video, they were like, Zach, you're not a great dancer. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Don't you just love when you get back from the washroom and your food is ready? I... I love it. I don't like to associate my food with the washroom ever. And again, if I'm missing the Pulp Fiction references, I'm sorry. It's because... Well, I watched it a long time ago. <laughs> I don't remember. I kind of honestly think of Pulp Fiction in relation to like all my straight male friends, not because it's like a particularly straight thing, but just like in my life, all of the like three straight male friends that I have are obsessed with this movie. Okay, so it's just like, I think about them when I think about this movie. Okay, because they're always talking about how much they love Pulp Fiction and Quentin Tarantino and whoever, whatever. Let me put down this dart. And oh yeah, that was fake. This. That was fake. I know you're wanting a sip to find out why it's five dollars. Must be one good shake, huh? I guess. Wow, it is. Beauty sip. Be beauty sip. Beauty sip. I'm having. Well, was it good? You didn't say how it was. I would like to know. Here. Comes with fries. Both diner food comes with fries. I'm having their Derwood Kirby burger, not bloody, and a $5 shake, Martin and Lewis. 
So, let's dig in. Let's, now, let's get to, let's get to! This friggin' wig. Oh. I'm gonna break character. Oh, oh, that, we got, we got two and a half minutes. We got two and a half minutes of, of cosplay. Now it's over. Now it's just time to eat. Now it's just time to eat. You, you wanted cosplay, you got two and a half minutes of it. You better be happy with that. I fry these fries up myself. So proud okay. of you. So proud of you, girl. Made all this food myself. Wow. What? What? You want to talk about a difference? You want to, she, making food for herself, which I guess maybe she has once or twice on stream. I feel like I've seen her do some cooking videos, but it's it's very rare <laughs> these days that she cooks for herself. I have no idea. And it seems that most of the internet has no idea what a Durward Kirby burger is. Okay, well, are you going to tell me? So I just went with a burger with stuff that I like on it. I kind of combined it with the Big Kahuna Burger because in the movie, when Mia's at the diner with Vince Vega, it doesn't look like there's cheese on her burger. But the Big Kahuna Burger has cheese, so, and I'm missing lettuce, I forgot what Well, I'm pissed now because this is not authentic then. I signed up for authentic cosplay and a mukbang. So if you didn't know... Some of you, I mean, Pulp Fiction is a Quentin Tarantino movie. It is. It came out in 94. I did know that. I did know that much. So on my burger, I have cheese, American cheese slice, Canadian cheese slice, jalapenos, ketchup, dill relish, and mayo on a sesame seed bun. I won't lie, the actual burger looks good. I feel like the bun is maybe too big, but maybe that's just my preference. I mean, I feel like everybody has a different idea of like what the best kind of burger is. Oh, that's gonna be messy as hell. And and she's just like completely doused it with sauce, but like live your truth, girl. Like also, why do you have all of these onions and tomatoes and pickles on the side? Like why are, why did you not put those on the sandwich? What are you are they just for looks? I'm confused. It's uh, one of his better movies, his best movies. Um, I mean, one of my favorite movies. I thought it'd be fun. So is that? Is that the end, though? Uh, is that the end of, like, are we just going to talk for the next 15 minutes <laughs> about not Quentin Tarantino Pulp Fiction? Like, I don't know why I struggled to say that word, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like she's like, okay, we, we're five minutes into it. I feel like I can go on to telling, like, a TMI story about how, like, I slept with a homeless guy or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, with the milkshake, fun fact, and I didn't know this, maybe you guys did, and my cherry doesn't have... A stem, so unfortunately, I can't entice you and rub it on my lips. <laughs> I, I don't know that I would have been. It does in the movie. I don't. I don't know that I would have been enticed, anyways, girl. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. This this that wig. One good shake. This Ooh. wig is looking tortured. Agree. <laughs> this wig well, is looking tortured. Martin and Lewis apparently the waiter. I Jack Rabbit slams. Sam. Oh, not the cat. Not, I think you're doing cats. See, people always used to think like Zach, you just hate cats. Like why why what what problem do you have with her including her cats and her videos? You put Judy and Potato in all of your videos, like I don't get it. But like she's literally eating a meal and this cat is just crawling up on the table next to her hamburger that she's about to eat. That <laughs> that's the problem that I have with her cat. She's a mukbang channel. Well, she was a mukbang. I don't know what you call her now, but she used to be a mukbang channel. And I want to think about cat doo-doo and cat hair and cat whoever whatever in my food. There's no cats in Pulp Fiction. Like, look! Look! She was just about to take a oh, lick. Not you. You don't have a part in this movie. I just, I just don't understand. Uh, Why the we... waiter is actually Steve Buscemi, and I didn't realize that. Oh, oh, it's... Until I watched it again. I don't care who the waiter is. Get your cat off the table. Um, and... Your cat's butt is cat's right there. Like Martin and Lewis. Look! That cat's booty hole is right by that hamburger. I'm so bothered. Um, which, chocolate or vanilla... And she says Martin and Lewis, which because Martin and Lewis, Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin are white guys, so vanilla. Okay. That's, well, was, that's what the reasoning behind that was. I didn't know that. Well, your cat's still right there. All right. <laughs> I'm nervous to dig into this burger because I'm wearing white. Listen, 
Get in your, get, should I put up the picture again of the chocolate? You have no issues with get, getting food all over your clothing. And it's gonna be one hell of a messy burger. Beauty bite, oh my God. Okay, see if she, <clears throat> see if she makes it through without, that cat is still the, I'm, I'm so sorry for being so triggered by the cat, but I'm just like, she's concerned about getting her shirt messy when that cat's booty hole is right next to her food. I don't get it. Oh, there's a fluff in the, in the air. <laughs> I don't get it. Thanks, Sam. I love a lot of cat tail hair on my burger. Yeah, you, it's, it, it's gross. Even Chantal is acknowledging it, okay? I want to hear anybody talk about how I hate cats or I, how it's hypocritical of me to be mad that there's a cat in her video when it's right next to her hamburger that she's eating and putting in her mouth. I don't have my green screen today. Okay. I We haven't seen a green screen in a minute, so I don't know what happened to the green screen <laughs> in the foodie booty household. I'm missing one of the clips for it. Oh, that was prob that, that's probably why. What? She probably, she probably lost one of the clips in the Amazon box mountain <laughs> and just, and just said F it. I would, I would love to see her take a bite out of one of those raw ass onions. Cause it's just sitting there. Put too many condiments on this burger. <laughs> wow. That shit is so mm -hmm. messy. That shit is so messy. Does she, okay, I was like, is she wiping her hands on her pants, but she had a napkin. She had a napkin. It's, my, it's okay. My wallet slipstick. Oh, this wig is slipping off. Girl, just take it off at this point. You you stopped cosplaying a minute ago. If if you want to, I, I would give you permission to take off this, this tortured wig. In the movie Mia Wallace is played by Uma Thurman. And Vince Vegas played by John Travolta. And Tarantino seemed to have like some kind of weird obsession with Uma. I think he I think I read that he loved her feet and has like a foot fetish. Okay, well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna kink shame him, okay, first of all. And second of all, I'm actually kind of impressed that she's still talking about the movie, to be honest. I thought she was gonna give that up at least five minutes ago, so <laughs> very impressed that, that we're still somehow talking and connecting it to the theme. Again, I, I doubt that she would even be able to do that today at a live stream. She can barely focus on what her chat is saying <laughs> to her in live streams. So, you know, maybe the bar is low, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Sam. Who's Beezing? Oh, back when, back when Beezing just meant that her cats were doing something they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days. If you don't like swearing. Or other words that are offensive, very offensive. Uh huh. You may not want to watch it, but it's so nice of her to be considerate of that back then because now she swears, she does offensive stuff all the time in live streams, and she's like, "If you don't like that on my channel, then just go." So, <laughs> very, very fascinating that once upon a time she seemed to be sensitive to the fact that some people might not like that kind of stuff on on the media they're consuming. I will say, I, and I don't know, I probably will cut out a lot of the dead silence, but I will say that a lot of this video is filled with just her eating, which I guess isn't too far away from like just the, the periods of silence that happen on her live streams when she's zooted or when she's eating or whoever, whatever. So there's that, there's that, that maybe that hasn't changed a whole lot. This burger is amazing. I love that for I you. Medium ground beef, because medium is extra juicy. Has a higher fat Ooh. content, but... What do you know about extra juicy, girl? I've been taking digestive enzymes called lipase, I think. I it helps you. I don't have a gallbladder. 
It do, helps you digest fast. Do you think she's still doing that? <laughs> Just out of curiosity, because I know that she was also on like Ozempic and some other medication, and I think something that's happened during the live stream era is that she stopped taking those things. I'm curious. I mean, I don't. I don't really care one way or another. Her health is her health. Like she has to take responsibility for that. I, she can live her life however she wants. But I'm just curious if we're comparing now with with what happened in this video. I just seasoned it well with um, salt, accent. I don't know if you know what accent is. I've I just don't. tried it. Um, it's a food flavor enhancer. Has less sodium than salt and pepper. Black pepper. Sounds, and sounds bland as fuck. Garlic powder, onion powder. Oh, okay. That's so good. You know, those are my now, two fave seasonings, so great. Glad, glad you included them. Um, when you're frying your burger, after it's pretty much cooked, put the lid on. Let the juices steam it. Girl, I don't want to hear about juices. Any, I, I never want to hear Chantal say the word juices ever, if I'm being honest. Girl, I need you to stop touching that wig. I'm gonna need. It then. I'm gonna need you to stop touching that wig. When you're touching that wig, touching your food, touching that wig, touching your food. I just need you to stop. <laughs> For me personally, like that. that's uh, my opinion. So welcome to Vlogtober. Yeah. Is this Halloween themed? Yes, it is because I'm dressing up. And I love that for you. Way more effort than I would ever expect out of you, honestly. A lot of the videos will be um, fall or Halloween related. Okay. But not all. Some will be regular videos. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have to look up after we finish the video to see how far she actually made it into Vlogtober last year. Because I'm curious. Because I don't feel like she finished it. I mean, it was very much like a an Amberlynn not finishing Vlogmas situation type of deal. I, I, I have a feeling she probably... Probably didn't finish. I just wanted to make it look like a diner setup. <laughs> Oh, that's why you included the raw onion and tomato? I know, my hair looks ridiculous. You said it, girl, not me. <laughs> you said it, girl, not me. Well, I might have said it, actually, at some point. I, I, I did call it tortured. Okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Absolutely. Ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, Dangs. Soon, please. <laughs> you tried. I, you, I will say you I tried. Mean, it's a quality wig. It's just. It, know, is it? For normal size heads and. Uh, as you can see. Is there a such thing as as wigs for big heads? I'm just curious because I I genuinely don't know. But I think about like there's a lot of like plus size drag queens who always have immaculate wigs. But I don't know. Do they have to get those special made because they have big heads? I, I don't know. I also I mean I know I'm frail yet slightly overweight. But I have a big ass head too, and I have this little blonde bob thing that I wear, and it it works fine for my head. <laughs> I'm just I'm just is that a thing? And do they have plus size wigs? But I don't have a huge sweet tooth. The vanilla flavor is really good. Mm. You don't have a, a huge sweet tooth, but you just literally put back a like 30 pack of Lochmas on, on a stream the other night and covered yourself in chocolate. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say shit's not really adding up there. Okay. I have a lot in store. I you know what? I can't wait to see what you got in store for Vlogtober 2021. Who wants to eat the garnish? Girl, I wanted to eat see you bite. take a bite. <laughs> you take a big chunk, bite, chunk. Also, typically onions aren't put on your plate as a garnish. They're put there to add on to your to your hamburger. But I would like to I would like to see you take a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite of that raw ass onion. Of the onion. Gross. I used to have a babysitter. I think I told you. Mm -hmm. She used to eat. Onion sandwiches with mustard, just big chunks of. Let it. her live her truth. I've it's seen. Cigarettes. I've seen you eat worse. They don't smoke. Oh, it is fake. They're fake. It is fake. 
<sighs> and the song in the intro, Girl You'll Be a Woman Soon, is in the movie they do the urge overkill. Excuse me, Virgin? Uh, Virgin. So are you saying that was probably copywriting? Girl, if I get a strike? Virgin? But it's a Neil Diamond song, and that's really good. You should listen to it. All right. Oh, excuse me. All right. Um, I gotta go. Mia Wallace has a date with an adrenaline shot. So. Oh uh, what? It's been fun. Oh, I think that I, really I think that's a reference from the movie. I think that's a reference from the movie. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, this is so fun. I love dressing up. And just having fun with my mukbangs or whatever, you know. Uh, not every single video is going to be a mukbang, but um, a lot of them will be, obviously. But I'm going to try to make them fun, um, tell a scary story sometimes. Wow, or fun? Mysteries, or uh, go to locations that are Going places? Do them. Live dive and, dine and drive. I know you guys love those. Um... So yeah, anyway, I guess that's it for now. I really enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta! Bye! Bye! So I think it's clear a lot has changed from Vlogtober one year ago, okay? I.e. like effort, general effort, general enthusiasm, general sobriety. What I will say is she did post a lot last year during Vlogtober, but if you go and look at what she did, like there are Vlogtober days that are missing, like Vlogtober day six is just missing. I don't know if she deleted that or something, but it goes from day five to day seven. And then she stops labeling videos as Vlogtober after Vlogtober day 12. And there is definitely not a post for every single day of Vlogtober, but she does do like a Halloween party at the very end of Vlogtober. So she, she was, she was working. She was putting out a lot of videos, probably a lot more than we'll ever get from anything <laughs> this year. I'm just guessing, but I would be curious to know, do y'all think Vlogtober is going to happen? Is it going to be a thing? Are we going to see more Halloween, fall, autumn related content from her? Or is it just going to be more live streaming? There were some live streams actually. I think she did like some live haunted like trail things with Pete's last year. So there were some live streams last year, but she was definitely not in her live stream era yet back back last year in October. So I'm curious to see what happens. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. And I also just want to give another big thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. As a reminder, you can use my code down below in the description box and in a pinned comment for your 30% off of your first month of Scentbird. So go check that out. And that's all I have for today. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Also, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!